Welcome back, my friends. The news today is that Qualcomm recently approached Intel about a possible takeover Qualcomm approached Intel about a takeover in recent days, according to a person familiar with the matter. As of the market close on Friday, Intel had a market cap of over $90 billion. The shares popped in extended trading after the Wall Street Journal was first to report on the potential deal. But, before we get into all of that, I would like to thank everyone who views my videos. If you would like to support the channel, please see the link to buy me a coffee in the video description below. And, please hit the like button and leave me a comment below. I would love to hear from you. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you are notified of upcoming videos when they are released. Qualcomm recently approached struggling chipmaker Intel about a takeover. It wasn't clear if Intel had engaged in conversations with Qualcomm or what the terms would be, according to a person familiar with the matter who asked not to be named because the information was confidential. The Wall Street Journal was first to report on the matter. Intel shares initially popped on the news before closing up about 3%, while Qualcomm shares fell about 3% at the close. The deal, if it were to happen, would be one of the largest technology mergers ever. Intel has a market cap of over $90 billion. Once the world's largest chipmaker, Intel has for years been in a downward spiral that accelerated in 2024. The stock had its biggest one-day drop in over 50 years in August after the company reported disappointing earnings. Intel shares are down 53% this year as investors express doubts about the company's costly plans to manufacture and design chips. Qualcomm and Intel compete in several markets, including for PC and laptop chips. However, Qualcomm, unlike Intel, doesn't manufacture its own chips, and instead relies on firms such as Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company and Samsung to handle production. On Monday, after a board meeting to discuss strategy, Intel CEO Patrick Gelsinger sent a memo to staff that reiterated the company's commitment to investing heavily in its foundry business, a project that could cost $100 billion over the next five years. It also said that it was weighing outside investment. Intel has also missed out on the artificial intelligence boom that's captured the attention of Wall Street. Most of the advanced AI programs, such as ChatGPT, run on NVIDIA graphics processors, instead of Intel central processors. NVIDIA has more than 80% of the fast-growing market, according to analysts. Qualcomm generates less revenue than Intel. It reported $35.8 billion in sales in fiscal 2023, compared with Intel's $54.2 billion during the same period. A potential deal would be complicated by antitrust and national security matters. Both Intel and Qualcomm do business in China, and both have seen deals scuttled by Chinese antitrust enforcers. Intel was unsuccessful with its attempted acquisition of Tower Semiconductor, as was Qualcomm in its bid to acquire NXP Semiconductor. Other giant acquisitions in the space have also been scuttled. In 2017, Broadcom made a bid to buy Qualcomm for more than $100 billion. The Trump administration blocked the deal the following year on national security concerns, because Broadcom was based in Singapore at the time. And in 2021, the Federal Trade Commission sued to block NVIDIA's attempted purchase of ARM on antitrust grounds. The deal was called off in 2022 following additional pressure from regulators in Europe and Asia. Representatives for Qualcomm and Intel declined to comment. If Qualcomm were to acquire Intel, it would have significant implications for the tech industry. Consolidation of power, Qualcomm and Intel are two of the largest players in the semiconductor industry. A merger would create a behemoth with substantial market power, potentially leading to less competition and higher prices for consumers. Regulatory scrutiny, such a massive acquisition would almost certainly face intense scrutiny from regulatory bodies worldwide. Antitrust concerns would be a major hurdle, similar to the challenges NVIDIA faced when it attempted to acquire ARM. Innovation in R&D, combining Qualcomm's expertise in mobile and AI chips with Intel's strengths in PC and server processors could lead to significant advancements in chip technology. This could accelerate the development of AI and 5G technologies. Manufacturing capabilities, Intel's in-house manufacturing capabilities could complement Qualcomm's design prowess, potentially leading to more efficient and advanced chip production. Diversification, Qualcomm could diversify its product portfolio by integrating Intel's PC and server businesses, reducing its reliance on the mobile market. Asset sales, to address regulatory concerns, Qualcomm might need to sell off parts of Intel's business, which could reshape the semiconductor landscape. Stock market reactions, the news of such a merger would likely cause significant fluctuations in the stock prices of both companies. 
Investors would closely watch how the deal impacts each company's financial health. Cost synergies. The merger could lead to cost savings through synergies in R&D, manufacturing, and administrative functions. Overall, while the potential acquisition could drive innovation and efficiency, it would also face substantial regulatory and market challenges. Intel's recent struggles can be attributed to several key factors. Process technology delays. Intel has faced significant delays in advancing its manufacturing processes, particularly in moving to smaller nanometer nodes. This has allowed competitors like AMD and TSMC to gain a technological edge. Yield issues. Problems with yield rates in their manufacturing processes have further hampered Intel's ability to produce chips efficiently. Decline in PC sales. The global slump in PC sales has hit Intel hard, as a significant portion of its revenue comes from this market. Increased competition, AMD, Nvidia, and other competitors have made substantial gains in market share, offering products that often outperform Intel's offerings in key areas. Underinvestment in key areas, Intel's previous leadership underinvested in critical areas like AI and mobile, which are now driving growth in the semiconductor industry. Failed diversification, attempts to diversify into other markets, such as mobile and IoT, have not been as successful as anticipated. Global chip shortage, the semiconductor industry has been hit by a global chip shortage, affecting production and supply chains. US-China tech war, the ongoing tech war between the US and China has created additional challenges, including restrictions on sales and supply chain disruptions. Revenue declines, Intel has experienced several consecutive quarters of revenue decline, impacting its financial stability. Cost-cutting measures, the company has had to implement significant cost-cutting measures, including layoffs and reduced capital expenditures. Intel is currently undergoing a major restructuring under CEO Pat Gelsinger, who aims to regain technological leadership by 2026. However, the path to recovery is fraught with challenges. A merger between Qualcomm and Intel would face significant regulatory hurdles, making approval quite challenging. Here are some key considerations, market power, both Qualcomm and Intel hold substantial market shares in their respective domains. Combining their strengths could lead to a monopoly or at least a dominant position in the semiconductor industry, which would likely raise antitrust concerns. Past precedents, similar large-scale mergers, such as Nvidia's attempted acquisition of ARM, have faced intense scrutiny and were ultimately blocked due to antitrust issues. Multiple jurisdictions, the merger would need approval from regulatory bodies across multiple regions, including the US, EU, and China. Each of these regions has its own set of stringent antitrust laws. Geopolitical tensions, the ongoing tech tensions between the US and China could further complicate the approval process, as both countries have vested interests in the semiconductor industry. Divestitures, to gain regulatory approval, Qualcomm might need to sell off parts of Intel's business to other buyers. This could mitigate some antitrust concerns but would also complicate the merger process. Behavioral remedies, regulators might impose conditions on the merged entity's operations, such as commitments to maintain fair competition and not to engage in anti-competitive practices. Innovation versus competition, while the merger could drive significant technological advancements, regulators would weigh this against the potential reduction in competition. Consumer impact, higher prices and fewer choices for consumers could be a concern leading regulators to scrutinize the merger closely. Given these factors, while not impossible, the approval of a Qualcomm Intel merger would be highly complex and uncertain. But, what do you think? Please hit the like button and leave us a comment below. We would love to hear from you. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you are notified of upcoming videos when they are released. Please share this video on social media. And, before we end, a word from the sponsor of this video. Today's sponsor is ProWorldNet.com. ProWorldNet.com is a job website specifically dedicated to licensed professions, doctors, including any type of specialty nurses, and that includes all grades of nurses. Lawyers, regardless of area of legal focus. Teachers and professors, from kindergarten through graduate school. As well as any kind of job that requires a government license or certification. And ProWorldNet.com also includes short-term gig-type jobs as well. So, be sure to check out ProWorldNet.com if you are looking for a job or an employee. Thank you for watching.